Emperor Xuanzong of Tang, also commonly known as Emperor Ming of Tang, personal name Li Longji, known as Wu Longji from 690 to 705, was the seventh emperor of the Tang dynasty in China, reigning from 712 to 756. His reign of 43 years was the longest during the Tang dynasty. In the early half of his reign he was a diligent and astute ruler. Ably assisted by capable chancellors like Yao Chong, Song Jing and Zhang Yu, he was credited with bringing Tang China to a pinnacle of culture and power. Emperor Xuanzong, however, was blamed for over-trusting Li Linfu, Yang Guizhong and Anlu Shen during his late reign, with Tang's golden age ending in the anti-rebellion. This marked the beginning of the Tang dynasty's decline. Background Li Longji was born at the Tang Dynasty Eastern Capital or Wang in 685, during the first reign of his father Emperor Ruizong a Euro, but at that time, Emperor Ruizong's mother Empress Daija Wu, not Emperor Ruizong, was in actual control of power as Empress Daija and Regent. Li Longji was the third son of Emperor Ruizong, and his mother was Emperor Ruizong's concubine consort Du. In 687, as the Emperor's son, he was created the Prince of Chu. It was said that he was handsome as a child, and was talented in music. He had two older brothers a Euro Li Shongi, born of Emperor Ruizong's wife Empress Liu, and Li Xing, as well as three younger brothers a Euro Li Longfan, Li Long, and Li Longti. During Wu Zexian's reign, in 690, Daija Empress Wu had Emperor Ruizong yield the throne to her, and she took the throne as emperor of a new Zha dynasty interrupting Tang. In 692, Li Longji and his brothers were allowed to have residences outside the palace and were given staffs at their mansions. In 693, both his mother consort Du and Li Dan's wife Crown Princess Liu were killed by Wu Zexian inside the palace after Wu Zexian's lady-in-waiting Wei Tianer falsely accused them of using witchcraft against Wu Zexian a Euro, and not even their bodies were recovered. Subsequently, all of Li Dan's sons were reduced in title, and Li Longji's title was reduced to Prince of Linzi. He and his brothers, along with their cousins Li Guangshan the Prince of Fifeng, Li Shulai the Prince of Yong, and Li Shaoai the Prince of Yang, were kept inside the palace and not allowed to have contact with outsiders until 699, when they were allowed to leave the palace and take up residences outside. During Emperor Tsung Zong's second reign, in 705, Wu Zexian was overthrown in a coup, and Li Longji's uncle Li Xia Florinen, who was at the time crown prince, who had been briefly emperor prior to Li Dan, returned to the throne. Li Longji was made the deputy minister of military supplies. In 708, he was made the secretary general of Lu Prefecture. In 710, he was recalled to the capital Chang to attend to Emperor Tsungzong when Emperor Tsungzong was sacrificing to heaven and earth. Meanwhile, Sorcerers engaged by Emperor Tsungzong believed that there was an aura of an emperor at the area of Chang where the mansions Li Longji and his uncles were, and Emperor Tsungzong tried to fulfill the vision by visiting Li Longji's mansion and attending a feast there. While Li Longji was back in Chang, he spent time to cultivate relationships with Imperial Guard commanders, as he believed that Emperor Tsungzong's powerful wife Empress Wei would bring harm to the Tang dynasty. Coup against Empress Daoja Wei in summer 710, Emperor Tsungzong died suddenly a year or a death that traditional historians believe to be a poisoning by Empress Wei and her daughter Li Guo the Princess Anne so that Empress Wei could become emperor like Wu Zexian and Li Guo could become crown princess. For the time being, Emperor Tsungzong's son by a concubine, Li Chongmao the Prince of Wen, was named emperor, but Empress Wei retained actual power as Empress Daoja and Regent. Originally, Yu Yu, and other officials saw La one quarter Wen and Yi Jingning were advising her to take the throne, like Wu Zexian did, and they also advised her to eliminate Li Dan and Princess Taping. The official Kui Ryong leaked their plan to Li Longji. Li Longji responded by conspiring with Princess Taping, Princess Taping's son Zhu Chongyan, as well as several low-level officials close to him a Euro Tsung Xiao Jing, Wang Chung, Liu Yu Kaiyu, and Ma Sai Zong a Euro to act first. Meanwhile, Empress Wei's nephews Wei Bo and Gao Song, who had recently been put in command of Imperial Guards and who had tried to establish their authority by dealing with the guards harshly, had alienated the guards, 
and the guard officers Ji Fushun, Chen Xuan Li, and Li Xian Fu thereafter also joined the plot. Without first informing Li Dan, the conspirators rose on July 21, first killing Wei Bo, Gao, and Empress Wei's cousin Wei Gui. They then attacked the palace. When Empress Dao Jia Wei panicked and fled to an imperial guard camp, a guard beheaded her. Li Guo, Wu Yang Xiu, and Lady Hila were killed as well. Li Longji soon slaughtered a number of officials in Empress Dowager's faction as well as her clan, while displaying Empress Dowager Wei's body on the street. At the urging of Princess Taiping, Li Longji, and Li Longji's brother Li Shongi, Li Dan soon took the throne from Li Chongmo and again became emperor. During Emperor Ruizong's second reign, Emperor Ruizong was immediately faced with the issue of whom to make crown prince Euro as Li Shongi, as the oldest son overall and the oldest son of his wife, was the appropriate heir under Confucian principles of succession, but Li Longji had been the one whose accomplishments had allowed him to retake the throne. He hesitated. Li Shongi declined consideration to be crown prince Euro, stating to his father, If the state were secure, then consideration should be first given to the oldest son of the wife. If the state were in danger, then consideration should be first given for achievement. If you did not follow this principle, the people of the entire empire will be disappointed. I would rather die than to be placed above the Prince of Ping, that is, Li Longji, whose title had been changed to Prince of Ping by this point. Li Shongi wept and begged to yield for several days, and after further persuasion by the Chancellor Liu Yukiwa Euro, who had been part of Li Longji's coup plan, Sir Euro Emperor Ruizong agreed, and created Li Longji Crown Prince. Li Longji submitted a petition offering to yield to Li Shongi, but Emperor Ruizong rejected it. Initially, Princess Taiping agreed to Li Longji's ascension as Crown Prince despite the fact that Li Longji was not Emperor Ruizong's oldest son and was not born of Emperor Ruizong's wife Empress Liu as she believed that Li Longji was young and would be easy to control. However, once she began to see that Li Longji was strong-willed, she became apprehensive and often had officials close to her publicly opine that Li Longji was an improper Crown Prince. She further often paid Li Longji's staff members to spy on him to try to find faults with him. She associated with a group of officials, including the chancellors Du Hui's Hen, Xiao's Hong, and Senzai, intending to find some way to remove Li Longji, but was unable to get two other chancellors a Euro Wei Anti and Song Jing a Euro to join her group. In 711, Song and another chancellor, Yao Yanzi, tried to persuade Emperor Ruizong to carry out a plan that they believed would end her plotting. They proposed that the two princes who arguably had superior claims on the throne than Li Longji a Euro Li Shengi and Li Shulai was an older brother to both Emperors Tsangzong and Ruizong, a Euro be sent out of the capital Chang to serve as prefectural prefects, while Princess Taiping and Wuyaji be sent to live in Luoyang. They also proposed that Li Longji be put in charge of most affairs of state. Emperor Ruizong initially agreed and made the orders as Song and Yao suggested, except that he believed that Or Wang was too far and therefore sent Princess Taiping and Wuyaji only to Pu Prefecture. After Princess Taiping found out that the plan was conceived by Song and Yao, however, she was incensed and let Li Longji know her anger. In fear, Li Longji submitted a petition accusing Song and Yao of alienating him from his brothers Li Shengi and Li Shulai and Aunt Princess Taiping asking that the two be put to death. Emperor Ruizong, in response, demoted Song and Yao and recalled Princess Taiping, Li Shengi, and Li Shulai to the capital. In the aftermaths, Li Longji submitted another request to yield the crown prince position to Li Shengi, but Emperor Ruizong declined it. Also in 711, Emperor Ruizong posthumously honored both Empress Liu and Li Longji's mother consort Du as empresses and built a temple for them to be worshipped but was unable to locate their bodies for reburial, and therefore had to give them a ceremonial reburial without the bodies. Emperor Ruizong also ordered that all minor matters be decided by Li Longji. In 712, Princess Taiping had astrologers warn Emperor Ruizong that the constellation that symbolized the imperial throne, Dai Zuo, showed that there would be a change in the emperor's position a euro believing that Emperor Ruizong would suspect Li Longji of plotting a coup and that she could remove Li Longji this way. Instead, Emperor Ruizong, 
reasoning that the change in the emperor's position could be accounted by an orderly transition, offered to pass the throne to Li Longji. Princess Taiping fervently opposed it, and Li Longji initially declined, but at Emperor Ruizong's insistence finally accepted and took the throne on September 8. However, at Princess Taiping's suggestion, Emperor Ruizong retained much of the imperial power as Tashang Huang, and his edicts continued to carry greater force than Emperor Xuanzong's. As Emperor. Equals Xianchen era equals. Emperor Xuanzong made his wife Crown Princess Wang Empress. Meanwhile, Princess Taiping continued to be highly influential in governmental matters through Emperor Ruizong, and most chancellors were her associates. Liu Yukaiu and the General Zhang Wei, with Emperor Xuanzong's approval, planned to mobilize the Imperial Guards to kill several of those chancellors a year or do Hurei's hen, Kui Xian Senzai. However, after Zhang told the plan to the Imperial censor Deng Guangbin, the news was leaked. Liu was arrested, and initially set to be executed. Emperor Xuanzong interceded on his behalf with Emperor Ruizong, and Liu, Zhang, and Deng were spared but exiled. Later in 712, Emperor Ruizong decreed that Emperor Xuanzong lead a group of soldiers to examine the northern border. However, the group of conscripted soldiers was disbanded in spring 713, and the plan was never carried out. By summer 713, it was said that Princess Taiping, Du, Sen, Xiao, Kui, along with other officials Zhu Ji, Li Jin the Prince of Xingxing, a cousin of Tang's founder Emperor Ganozu, Li Yu, Jiao Angfu, Tang Jun, the generals Chang Yuan Kai, Li Sai, and Li Qian and the monk Hui Fan, were plotting to overthrow Emperor Xuanzong. It was further said that they discussed, with the lady-in-waiting Lady Yuan to poison the Gastrodia Elita that Emperor Xuanzong routinely took as an aphrodisiac. When this alleged plot was reported to Emperor Xuanzong by Wei Tsai Gai, Emperor Xuanzong, who had already received advice from Wang Zhu, Zhang Xuo, and Kui Ryong to act first, did so. He convened a meeting with his brothers Li Longfan the Prince of Qi and Li Long the Prince of Xu, Guo Yansen, along with a number of his associates a Euro the General Wang Mozhong, the officials Jian Zhao and Li Lingyan, his brother-in-law Wang Xiaoai, the eunuch Gao Lishi, and the military officer Li Xu de Euro, and decided to act first. On July 29, Emperor Xuanzong had Wang Mozhong take 300 soldiers to the Imperial Guard camp to behead Chang and Li Sai. Then, Jia, Li Yu, Xiao, and Sen were arrested and executed as well. Du fled into a canyon and committed suicide by hanging. Zhu Ji was forced to commit suicide. When Emperor Ruizong heard about this, he quickly ascended the tower at Qingxian Gate to ascertain what was happening. Guo reported to him Emperor Xuanzong's intentions, and Emperor Ruizong felt compelled to affirm Emperor Xuanzong's actions in an edict. The next day, Emperor Ruizong issued an edict transferring all authorities to Emperor Xuanzong and moved to a secondary palace, Beifu Hall and would remain there until his death in 716. Equals K1 era equals, Emperor Xuanzong's K1 era is usually viewed as one of the golden ages of Chinese history a Euro a period of political stability, peace in society, and economic prosperity, in addition to advances in education, literature, music, painting sculpture, and religion. Early K1 era. Meanwhile, Zhang Yu and Liu Yukaiu served as chancellors, but they were soon displaced by Yao Yanzi and Liu Yuration. Changing the system of having a large group of chancellors simultaneous, as had been the case throughout Tang, Emperor Xuanzong reduced the numbers to two for the rest of his reign. Yao was considered a highly capable administrator, and with him ruling on most important matters and Liu assisting the government was said to be highly efficient. In 714, Emperor Xuanzong carried out a series of political reprisals against the cruel secret police officials of Wu Zexian's reign, exiling the ones that were still alive and eventually barring their descendants from holding political offices. At the urging of Jian Zhao's brother Jian Hui, he also exiled a number of chancellors a Euro Wei Silai, Wei Anqi, Tsu Yanzhe, and Li Zhao a Euro from Emperor Tsung Zong's reign whom Jiang accused of being unable to curb Empress Wei's abuse of power. Also in 714, 
Emperor Xuanzong, wanting to punish the Khitan and the Xi for having defeated Tang forces during Emperor Tsungzong's reign, commissioned the General Zhu Ni to attack them, but Zhu suffered another devastating loss to them, at the casualty rate of 80 euro 90 percent. However, later in the year, when Tafan forces attacked, Emperor Xuanzong again commissions Yu to defend against the attack, and Zhu was able to repel the Tafan forces. Subsequently, though, although both sides tried to invoke the marriage between Li Shulai's daughter Princess Jin Cheng and Tafan's King Miak Tsum in seeking peace, the two sides could not reach an agreement and remained in border conflict yearly. In response, Emperor Xuanzong established the office of Iadashi of Longyi Circuit, with a centralized command of twelve prefectures under a single military general. Eventually, the establishment of Iadashi would be extended to other parts of the empire. Also in 714, Emperor Xuanzong created Li Sikian, his second son and the son of his then favorite concubine consort Tso, Crown Prince. Meanwhile, the Tang relationship with Eastern Two Yu's Khan Ashina Mokuo had fluctuated during the first few years of the Kaiwan era, as minor hostilities occurred at the borders as well as contests over vassals' loyalty for the two states, but they were also at times friendly to each other, with Ashina Mokuo requesting at times to marry a Tang princess and Emperor Xuanzong agreeing to the proposal. In 716, however, Ashina Mokuo was killed in battle against the Baigu, and from that point on, lacking his efficient leadership, Eastern to Yu, while remaining an important regional power, posed much less of a threat to China, although at times still capable of dealing serious defeats to Tang forces, as was the case in 720 when the Eastern to Yu general Tunyaga defeated the Tang garrison at Liang Prefecture and the Tang vassal Berksmi. Meanwhile, Tang, Tufan, and the Umayyad Caliphate were constantly engaging in a three-way tug of war for influence in the Xiaoyu region. In 715, for example, when the king of Bahana was expelled by a new king supported by Tufan and the Umayyad Caliphate, Tang forces commanded by the general Jiang Xiaosong attacked the new king and restored the old king. In and around 716, there was a major locust infestation in the central China region. At Yao's suggestion, Emperor Xuanzong ordered an extensive campaign of extermination, which was said to reduce the impact of the infestation and ward off a major famine. Later in 716, however, due a corruption scandal involving Yao's sons and his associates or Hui, Yao incurred displeasure from Emperor Xuanzong and offered to resign. He and Yuan Kaiyao, who replaced Lu after Lu's death earlier in 716, were removed from their offices and replaced with Song Jing and Su Ting, with Song making more of the important decisions and Su assisting. Yao would not return to the chancellorship, but would remain influential as a key advisor for Emperor Xuanzong until Yao's death in 721. Contrary to the practical and flexible Yao, Song was more interested in emphasizing integrity and rule of law and governance, and it was said that while Yao's and Song's emphases were different, they were both regarded as instrumental in establishing the rule of Kaiwan and that subsequent chancellors could not compare to them. Meanwhile, Song and Su had carried out a stern campaign against the use of coins that were not officially forged by the government, which brought popular resentment that Emperor Xuanzong found problematic. In 720, he removed Song and Su from chancellor offices and replaced them with Yuan and Zhang Jiazhan, and in 721 added Zhang Yu as a chancellor as well. Meanwhile, by 722, Empress Wang, who had contributed to Emperor Xuanzong's reign by providing suggestions, had begun to lose favor to consort Wu, a great-grandniece of Emperor Xuanzong's grandmother Wu Zeshen. Emperor Xuanzong secretly discussed with Jian Zhao the possibility of deposing her, but Jian Zhao careless leaked the discussion. At the urging of Zhang Jiazhan, who was friendly with Empress Wang's brother Wang Xiaoai, advocated that Jian Zhao be punished and exiled, and Jian died in exile. Meanwhile, at Zhang Yu's suggestion, the Tang Northern Border Defense Forces, which had about 600,000 men at that time, was reduced by 200,000 men to allow the soldiers to return home. Further, seeing that the Tang conscription system, due to abuses against the soldiers at the time, was near a collapse, as the soldiers were forced into long tours of duty but their families were not exempt from taxes, 
thus causing great numbers of desertions, Zhang suggested a switch to a recruitment-based system where soldiers were paid salaries. This allowed, for a time, Tang's soldier supply to be replenished. Middle K1 Era In 723, Zhang Jiazhen was demoted on account of a corruption scandal involving his brother Zhang Jialu. His position was filled by Wang Jun, who was soon himself demoted over suspicions, never proven, that he was plotting treason. With Zhang Yu thus effectively being the senior chancellor, Zhang Yu promoted literary studies, which Emperor Xuanzong also favored. In 724, he also commissioned the chief imperial astronomer Nang Gongshuo to carry out a major astronomical survey to observe the Sun and the North Star at various points of the empire. Also in 724, it was discovered that Wang Shaowai had engaged sorcerers to make amulets for Empress Wang to wear, hoping that the use of magic would allow her to have a son. Empress Wang was deposed and reduced to commoner rank, while Wang Shaowai was exiled and subsequently ordered to commit suicide in exile. Empress Wang died later in the year, and it was said that the eunuchs and the ladies in waiting mourned her bitterly and Emperor Xuanzong much regretted his treatment of her. Still, after Empress Wang's removal and death, Consort Wu became undisputed mistress of the palace and was treated inside of the palace like an empress would be. Still, in 726, when Emperor Xuanzong considered creating her empress, he encountered oppositions from officials on two grounds a euro that her Wu clan was hated by the people and that as she had her own sons, the position of Li Siqi and the crown prince would be threatened. As a result, Emperor Xuanzong never created her empress. In winter 725, Emperor Xuanzong, at Zhang Yu's urging, carried out a magnificent ceremony at Mount Tai to offer sacrifices to heaven and earth. In 726, Zhang Yu was accused of corruption by several officials that he had blocked the advances of a Euro Kui Yinfu, Yuan Rong, and Li Lin for a Euro, and was found to have committed corruption. At the intercession of Gao Lishi, However, Zhang Yu was removed only from his chancellor post and permitted to maintain his title and a number of other posts. He was replaced by Li Yanhong, and subsequently, Duke Xian was also added as a chancellor. In 727, at the suggestion of the general Wang Junchuo, Emperor Xuanzong commissioned Wang Junchuo to attack Tufan, and after a Tufan incursion in late 726, Wang counterattacked and inflicted losses on Tifan forces commanded by the general Xinyue Liuogonglu. Later in the year, though, Xinyue Liuogonglu and another general, Tsu Longmeng busy attacked and captured Wang's home prefecture Gui Prefecture, taking Wang's father Wang Sha captive. As a result, Wang Junchuo did not dare to counterattack, and subsequently blamed the defeat on a number of tribal chiefs in the area and had them exiles. In response, Yaliwu Chashu, the nephew of one of the chiefs so exiled, Yaliwu Chengzong, ambushed Wang Junchuo and killed him, and while Yaliwu Chashu was forced to flee thereafter, for several years Tang did not engage in any offensive campaigns in the region. Around the same time, Emperor Xuanzong began to build a residential complex in the palace for imperial clan members, known as the Mansion of the Ten Princes, to centralize their residence. Thereafter, Imperial princes, including the crown prince, would rarely live outside the palace complex. In 728, Emperor Xuanzong added the general Xiao Song as a chancellor. Subsequently, in 729, with Yuan, even though he was senior chancellor, unable to curb the disputes between Li Yang and Hong and Du, Emperor Xuanzong removed all three from chancellor positions promoting Yuan and Pei Guangting to be chancellors in their steady Euro and Yuan's case, for his abilities to find ways to add to the imperial treasury by imposing special taxes and levies. Later in the year, though, Yuan made false accusations against the general Li Hui the prince of Xinan and was exiled, and subsequently died in exile. Still, it was said that it was starting from Yuan's times that Emperor Xuanzong began to pay attention on taxes to replenish the imperial treasury, which traditional historians viewed as the start of his inflicting financial burdens on the people. Further, with Pei in charge of the civil service system, it was said that due to Pei's strict adherence to seniority, the Tang civil service system began to lose its ability to find talented people to serve in offices. In 730, 
the Khitan general Ketchigan killed the king Li Shaogu and took over the reign of the Khitan and the Xi personally, forcing the king of the Xi, Li Lusu to flee to Tang for protection. Tang sent an army to attack the Khitan, but meanwhile made peace with the Fan. Initially, the campaign against the Khitan did not succeed, but in 732, with Li Hui in command, Tang forces dealt Ketchigan a serious defeat and causing many of Ketchigan's subordinates to defect and submit to Tang, although Ketchigan was not captured. Late K1 Era Meanwhile, Tang also began to have periodic conflicts with Bali, and in 733 Emperor Xuanzong tried to commission Dai Mun Yi, the brother of Bali's King Mu, to attack Bali, along with forces from Silla, but the attack was not successful. Also in 733, Pui Guangting died, and at the recommendation of Xiao Song, he was replaced with Han Xiu, but soon, Song and Han were in repeated conflicts, and late in 733, both were removed and replaced with Pui Yiking, who became known for improving the food distribution system, and Zhang Zhuling, known for his integrity. In 734, Emperor Xuanzong added Li Linfu, a close associate of Consort Wu, as a chancellor as well. Around the new year 735, Kitul Han was killed in an internal Kitan power struggle, and Kitan became a vassal again, although it would not stay so permanently. By 736, Emperor Xuanzong was described as having been tired of important affairs of state and beginning to become wasteful and exuberant in his lifestyle. Zhang tried to curb his behavior but thus began to lose favor, while Li Linfu was gaining power due to his association with Consort Wu. Further, Zhang supported Li Hong, while Li Linfu and Consort Wu supported her son Li Mao the Prince of Shu and tried to have Li Mao made crown prince. In 736, due to Li Linfu's machinations that made Emperor Xuanzong believe that Zhang and Pei Yoking were improperly engaging in factionalism. Zhang and Pei Yoking were removed and replaced by Niu Xiang, who closely followed Li Linfu's will, and thereafter, Li Linfu would dominate the imperial government almost to the end of Emperor Xuanzong's reign. Li Linfu did all he could to stay in power, and carried out many dirty tricks against actual or potential threats to his power. He also severely discouraged criticism, ending the relative freedom that officials had to make proposals to Emperor Xuanzong. This was often viewed by traditional historians as the turning point of Emperor Xuanzong's reign, which up to that point was considered a golden age in Chinese history, toward a path of degeneration. The Song Dynasty historian Sima Guang, in his Itzitengian, for example, commented. Of the chancellors that the emperor commissioned after he took the throne, Yao Chong emphasized flexibility, Song Jing emphasized the rule of law, Zhang Jiazhen emphasized administrative abilities, Zhang Xuo emphasized literary talent, Li Yanhong and Du Xian emphasized frugality, and Han Xiu and Zhang Zhuling emphasized honesty. All of them had their different talents. After Zhang Zhuling was demoted, however, the officials were all concerned about keeping their positions, and honest words no longer had a place in government. In 737, with Zhang no longer in the government to protect him, Li Ying was deposed and subsequently forced to commit suicide. However, with Consort Wu dying later in the year, Emperor Xuanzong did not immediately accept Li Linfu's proposal to have Li Mao made crown prince. Rather, he chose an older son, Li Yu the Prince of Tsung, in 738. Equals Tianbao era equals. Historians said that Emperor Xuanzong forced tens of thousand beautiful women to live in his palace to please him, more than many other Tang emperors. And he did not allow many to be set free even when they were old. As Emperor Xuanzong turned his attention to pleasure-seeking with his favorite concubine consort Yang Yuan and her family, he paid less and less attention to the running of his empire, and much of his power fell into the hands of the corrupt Li Linfu and the eunuch Gao Lishi. At the same time, 751 saw the loss of the Battle of Talas against the Abbasid Caliphate. As a consequence, the Tang dynasty temporarily lost some of its influence in Central Asia to the emerging Abbasid Caliphate, as several Tang tributaries turned to the Abbasids. Meanwhile, the Ayadashi, most of whom were non-Han took more and more regional power into their own hands. Some successful generals included Geshu Han, 
known for victories over Tafan. Gauxianzi, who conquered city-states of the Xiaoyu region, eventually battling the Abbasids at Talos. And An Lushan who defeated and once again vassalized the Khitan. Eventually, in 755, An Lushan started the anti-rebellion at Fanyang. The rebels quickly seized the eastern capital or Warang, and then the imperial capital Chang six months later. Emperor Xuanzong fled to Sichuan during the war and abdicated the throne to Liu. Early Tianbao era, meanwhile, at Li Linfu's encouragement, Emperor Xuanzong began to promote non-Han generals to command large border armies, believing Li Linfu's assertion that non-Han generals were more likely to be personally loyal to Emperor Xuanzong himself and would not have clan entanglements, even though Li Linfu's own personal motivation was to prevent Han officials from going through the border command route to become chancellors, thus threatening him. Such generals who rose in ranks included An Lushan, An Sishan, Geshu Han, and Gao Xianzi. By 742, the main Tang forces were all concentrated on the border, at nine different military circuits and one special military district, as well as three special coast defense districts. Meanwhile, it was said that Emperor Xuanzong had paid less attention to increasing revenues after Yuan Rong's fall, but by 742 he was again interested in doing so, and such officials as Wei Zhan, Wang Hong, and Yang Shanjin became favored, and often, matters having to do with finances were stripped out of other officials' responsibilities and given to them as special commissions. Late in 742, Nayuk Xiang died and was replaced by Li Shaitsai. In 744, Eastern Tu Yu, after a series of internal turmoil and rebellions from its vassals, finally collapsed. Its vassal huge rose and became the dominant power of the region, but formally submitted to Tang as a vassal. Meanwhile, after Consort Wu's death, Emperor Xuanzong had been depressed. When he saw his son Prince of Sholi Mao's wife Yang Yuan, he was infatuated with her, and he had her become a Taoist nun and gave Li Mao the wife of the general Wei Tsuk son as his new wife and princess. Meanwhile, he secretly took the nun, Yang, into the palace. She became his senior ranking concubine, known as Yang Gaifu and soon became so powerful that officials were bribing her family members to get preferential treatment. She was referred to inside the palace as the lady, and treated like an empress. He abducted more than 40,000 women in his palace. Some were not set free even after they were over 60 years old. Meanwhile, Li Linfu was beginning to conflict with Li Shaitsai and Wei Zhan, who were allies. Li Linfu who engaged a group of secret police officials to investigate and manufacture evidence against political enemies, was able to get Wei and Li Shaitsai demoted and exiled in 746. In 747, Li Linfu further carried out a campaign of terror against exiled officials, and among the officials executed were Wei, Li Yong and Pui Dunfu. Li Shaitsai and Wang Zhu, who had been instrumental in Emperor Xuanzong's initial actions against Princess Taiping, committed suicide. Meanwhile, in 747, Emperor Xuanzong wanted to expand the government's talent pool, and so issued an edict ordering that the people who had unusual talents to come to Chang to be examined by himself. Li Linfu, fearing that these examinees might accuse him of improprieties when they get to meet the emperor, suggested that these examinees go through two levels of preliminary examinations a euro by the local governments, and then by the executive bureau. As a result, no one passed the first two levels of preliminary examinations, and Li Linfu subsequently submitted a note to Emperor Xuanzong congratulating him that no talent has been overlooked by the imperial administration. Meanwhile, also as of 747, and Lushan had become greatly favored by Emperor Xuanzong due to his military achievements and his willingness to flatter Emperor Xuanzong, Consort Yang, and her family members. Further, Li Linfu, apprehensive about the General Wang Tsungsi, who at the time was in command of four circuits, deprecated Wang in favor of An Lushan. In 747, after Li Linfu implicated Wang in hindering a campaign against Tafan and further accused Wang of plotting a coup to overthrow Emperor Xuanzong and replace him with Li Hang, Wang was arrested and demoted, escaping death only at the pleas of Geshu, who was Wang's deputy and who subsequently was given the commands of Hexi and Longyu. 
and Lushan, who had already been in command of Fanyang and Pinglu circuits, was also given heading, and thereafter was in command of the most elite troops of the empire. Meanwhile, the ethnically Gogoraiyo general Gao Xianzi had become prominent in the Xiaoyu region, expanding Tang power to the west. By 748, consort Yang's cousins Yang Guizhong, Yang Xian and Yang Qi, as well as her three sisters, had become exceedingly wealthy and powerful due to the favors that Emperor Xuanzong showed them. It was said that their wealth topped all households in Chang. It was also said that by 749, the empire was so wealthy that Emperor Xuanzong viewed treasures as expendable and so awarded them without limit. Late Tian Bao era, meanwhile, Li Linfu had a tight grip on power and favors from Emperor Xuanzong throughout the years, but as of 750, Yang Guizhong and Chen Xili had allied with each other and were finding ways to eliminate Li Linfu's allies from government. As of 751, Tang was also facing defeats on two different external fronts a euro as Nanzhe's King Jeluofeng, angry about unreasonable demands that the Zhang clan Chuo the governor of Yunnan commandery and Zhang's subsequent false accusations that he was planning to rebel, rebelled for real, and attacked and occupied Yunnan commandery. A major attack by the general Xianu Zongtong against Nanzhe failed terribly in 751, and subsequent defeats by Tang forces eventually led to a total of some 200,000 casualties among Tang troops. On the Western Front, Gao Xianzi suffered a major defeat at the Abbasid forces at the Battle of Talas in 751 as well, ending the Tang expansion to the West. In 752, Wang Hong's brother Wang Han was accused of treason after his associates rose in a failed coup at Chang. In the aftermaths, Wang Hong was forced to commit suicide, and Yang Guizhong, Chen, and Gesu Han further tried to implicate Li Linfu in the plot as well. After Li Linfu died in winter 752, Yang Guizhong succeeded him, and almost immediately accused Li Linfu of having been complicit in the rebellion of another general, Li Xian's Hong. Li Linfu was posthumously disgraced, and his family was exiled. A rivalry soon developed between Yang Guizhong and An Lushan, and Yang Guizhong began to repeatedly warn Emperor Xuanzong that An was plotting rebellion. Emperor Xuanzong ignored the warnings. In 754, Yang Guizhong suggested that if An were summoned to the capital, he would surely refuse, and Emperor Xuanzong decided to try Nei Euro and an arrived in Chang immediately after being summoned. After this incident, Emperor Xuanzong no longer believed that An was plotting rebellion. Nevertheless, because of Yang Guizhong's opposition, he did not make An Chancellor, as he was planning. Also in 754, with Yang Guizhong also trying to squeeze Chen out of the government, Chen resigned and was replaced by Wei Su. In 755, Yang Guizhong further provoked An, who was then back at his post in Fanyang, by surrounding An's mansion at Chang and arresting and executing An's staff members. An, in fear and anger, rebelled in winter 755, and quickly reached and captured all Wang after defeating Feng Changing's undersupplied army. Subsequently, Emperor Xuanzong, believing in reports from the eunuch Bian Lingkang that Feng was cowardly and that Feng's superior Gao Xianzie was corrupt, executed both Feng and Gao and replaced Gao with Gesu in defending Tong Pass from An's advances, and declared himself emperor of a new state of Yan at Wang, but with Gesu defending Tong Pass, An's advances stalled, while Tang forces commanded by Li Guangbi and Guo Xiai made advances against and controlled territory north of the Yellow River. Meanwhile, though, Yang Guizhong, fearing that Gesu had designs against him, convinced Emperor Xuanzong to order Gesu to attack despite Gesu's warnings that doing so was risky. Gesu was subsequently defeated by An's forward commander Kui Kainayu, and Tong Pass fell. With An's forces advancing on Chang, on July 14, 756, Emperor Xuanzong, with Yang Guizhong suggesting that they flee to Jianan circuit, abandoned Chang and fled with Gao Lishi, Yang Guizhong, Hui, Li Hang, Consort Yang, and her family. The following day, July 15, the Imperial Guards accompanying the Emperor, angry at Yang Guizhong, rose and killed him and forced Emperor Xuanzong to kill Consort Yang as well. Subsequently, Emperor Xuanzong continued on to Jianan, but Li Heng did not, 
but rather went to Lingwu, where, on August 12, Li Heng was declared emperor. Meanwhile, without knowledge that Empress Huizong had claimed the throne, Emperor Xuanzong, while still on his way to Xiong, the capital of Jianan Circuit, issued an edict that gave several of his sons various responsibility areas, under Li Heng's command overall. Until this edict was issued, most of the realm only knew that Chang had fallen and had not known where Emperor Xuanzong had fled. When the news of Empress Xuanzong's ascension reached Emperor Xuanzong at Xiong on September 10, he recognized Empress Xuanzong as the new emperor, and thereafter took the title of Tesheng Huang a year old, although his edict recognizing Empress Xuanzong appeared to still indicate desire to retain control like his father Emperor Ruizong did early in his reign. From now on, my edicts shall be referred to as Gao, and submissions to me shall address me as Tesheng Huang. All matters relating to the military or the state throughout the realm shall first be submitted to the emperor before being submitted to me. After the capital is recaptured, I will no longer oversee the affairs of state. However, perhaps to avoid the impression that he was keeping a rival government to Empress Wazung, he sent the several chancellors that he had retained or created while on the journey to or after he arrived in Qingde Euro Wei, Fang Guan, and Kuihu on a Euro to Lingwu to formally invest imperial power on Empress Wazung and to serve under Empress Wazung. As retired emperor, Emperor Xuanzong, after becoming retired emperor, largely allowed Empress Wazung to coordinate the campaign against Yan, but at times nevertheless stepped in to make decisions. For example, in spring 757, apparently without first consulting Empress Wazung, he named Li Lin Chancellor, although he subsequently sent both Li Lin and another Chancellor, Kui Yuan, whom he had not sent to Empress Wazung previously, to Empress Wazung. He also posthumously honored Empress Wazung's mother consort Yang as an empress. Meanwhile, remembering Zhang Zhuling had previously warned about an Lushan, Emperor Xuanzong sent messengers to Zhang's tomb to offer sacrifices to him. Late in 757, Empress Wazung, with aid from Huge, recaptured Chang from Yan, then ruled by An Lushan's son and kings, who had killed An Lushan earlier in 757 and taken over the throne himself. After Empress Wazung recaptured Chang, he sent messengers to Emperor Xuanzong requesting that he return to Chang and offering the throne back to Emperor Xuanzong. Emperor Xuanzong, apprehensive of the offer, initially not only declined but further requested to remain in Jinan. Only after Empress Wazung, at the suggestion of his strategist Li Mi, had the government officials make a joint submission to Emperor Xuanzong no longer mentioning the return of the throne, did Emperor Xuanzong agree to depart Jinan to return to Chang. On the way back to Chang, he had Gao Lishi try to dig up consort Yang Yuan's body for reburial, but her body had already decomposed. Only her fragrance bag remained. Emperor Xuanzong took the fragrance bag back to Chang and visited it daily, as if consort Yang were still alive. On January 16, 758, he arrived at Chang, and in a grand ceremony where Empress Wazung offered the throne back to him again, he formally declined again and personally put the yellow robe symbolizing imperial status on Empress Wazung, commenting, I had been the son of heaven for fifty years, and I did not consider it a great honor. Now I am truly honored to be the father to the son of heaven. He took up residence at Xinging Palace, a palace that was remodeled from the residence that he and his brothers had when they were imperial princes. After Emperor Xuanzong was back in Chang, he largely stayed out of policy decisions, although he at times still exerted his influence on Empress Wazung. For example, Empress Wazung had wanted to spare Zhang Xiu's sons Zhang Jun and Zhang Ji, who had previously submitted to An Lushan, because of Zhang Xiu's contributions and Zhang Jun's and Zhang Ji's prior efforts to protect him from Li Linfu's machinations, but Emperor Xuanzong deeply hated them for having surrendered to An, and at Emperor Xuanzong's insistence, Zhang Jun was executed, and Zhang Ji was exiled to Linnan. Meanwhile, after a while, Emperor Xuanzong settled into a routine at Xinging Palace, with Chen Xuanli and Gao Lishi attending to him. Also often attending to him were his daughter Li Shiying the Princess Yuzhen, the lady-in-waiting Ru Xianwan, and the eunuchs Wang Xin and Wei Yu. The imperial musicians often played for him, and he often climbed up Chang'ing Tower to receive well wishes from the populace. 
He also often held feasts for generals and people from Jinan, with Li Shiying and Ru serving as hostesses. Meanwhile, though, Emperor Xuanzong's attendants looked down at the powerful eunuch Li Fuguo, who had served Emperor Suizong throughout the campaign against Yan. To retaliate, Li Fuguo began to try to convince Emperor Suizong that Emperor Xuanzong and his attendants were plotting to seize power back. In 760, with Emperor Suizong's tacit, although not explicit, approval, on one occasion when Emperor Xuanzong was out riding, Li Fuguo intercepted him and forced him to move back to the main palace. Even on that occasion, however, Gao would not submit to Li Fuguo, and even yelled at Li Fuguo to force him to get off his horse and to escort Emperor Xuanzong on foot, along with Gao. Soon after Emperor Xuanzong was forcibly moved, Li Fuguo forced Chen to retire, Li Shiying to return to her temple, and exiled Gao, Wang, Hui, and Ru. After Emperor Xuanzong was forcibly moved back to the main palace, Empress Wuzhang tried to please him by offering him the best of all of the tributes of the land first, but Emperor Xuanzong became depressed and rarely ate meat, and quickly became ill. Empress Wuzhang had his daughter's princesses Wan and Angxini attend to their grandfather, and initially frequently personally visited Emperor Xuanzong, but after some time became ill himself and could not visit Emperor Xuanzong. He began to regret forcibly moving Emperor Xuanzong and considered killing Li Fuguo, but as Li Fuguo wielded command of the Imperial Guards at this time, he did not dare to try to do so. Emperor Xuanzong died, in that depressed state, on May 3, 762. Emperor Xuanzong was deeply criticized by later historians for his wastefulness and for his appointing of Li Linfu, Yang Guizhong, and unto prominent offices. The modern People's Republic of China leader Mao Zedong said that Emperor Xuanzong was half bright, half dark. The strength that Xuanzong had allowed the military governors to have, which was perpetuated after Tang had defeated Yan, led to a period of increasing conflict and instability which set the stage for the decline of the Tang dynasty and the ensuing Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period. Poetry Xuanzong had one poem collected in the famous poetry anthology 300 Tang Poems, in the style of the five-character regular verse form and in the Yuegai genre, and which was translated by Witta Binner as I pass through the Lu Dukedom with a sigh and a sacrifice for Confucius This poem refers to the philosopher sage Confucius and to Confucius' home state of Lu, during the by then long gone spring and autumn period, and expresses sadness for what is past and beyond recall thus reflecting on the transience of mortal existence. Chancellors during reign, Senzai, Liu Yukaiu, Kui Shi, Lu Xian Xian, Hui Tsai Gai, Du Hui's Hen, Xiao's Hong, Guo Yansen, Zhang Yu, Yao Chong, Liu Yuan, Zhu Na, Yuan Kainiao, Song Jing, Su Ting, Zhang Jiazhen, Wang Junior Li Yan Hong, Du Xian, Xiao's Hong, Pei Guangting, Yuan Rong, Han Xiu, Li Yaqing, Zhang Zhuling, Li Linfu, Nayuk Xiang, Li Shaitai, Chen Xili, Yang Guizhong, Hui Jian Su, Kui Yuan, Fang Guan. Personal information: Father, Emperor Ruizong of Tang. Mother, Consort Du, posthumously honored as Empress Cao Chunqing. Wife, Empress Wang. Major concubines: Consort Liu, mother of Princes Kong, Wan, and Sui. Consort Tsu. Mother of Crown Prince Aying, posthumous name He, Consort Yang, Mother of Crown Prince Heng and Princess Ningying, posthumously honored Empress Yuangxian, Consort Qian, Mother of Prince Yan, Consort Huan Fu, Mother of Prince Yao and Princess Linjin, Consort Liu, Mother of Prince Zhu, Consort Wu, Mother of Princes Yi, Min, Mao, and Qi and Princesses Shangxian, Xinik, and Taiye Yue, posthumously honored Empress and Shan, Consort Gao, mother of Prince Zhao and Princess Changle, Consort Guo, mother of Prince Lin, Consort Liu, mother of Prince Bin and Princess Yong. Consort Tsung, mother of Prince Huan, Consort Lu, mother of Prince Huang, Consort Yan, mother of Prince Sai, Consort Wang, mother of Prince Gui, Consort Chen, mother of Prince Gong, Consort Zheng, mother of Prince Tian, Consort Wu, mother of Princes Xuan and Jing, Consort Dong, mother of Princess Guangning, Consort Du, mother of Princess Wancheng, Consort Chang, 
mother of Princess Xinping, consort Kaor, mother of Princess Shun, consort Mei. Consort Yang Yuan, Xuanzong took a dancing girl from Tashkent, Uzbekistan, as a concubine and princess. Children Li Kong, now copyright Li Saitsai, name changed to Li Tan 725 and to Li Kong in 736, initially the Prince of Xu Kang, later the Prince of Tan, later the Prince of Qing, posthumously honored Crown Prince Jingda and then Emperor Feng Xi in 756, Li Ying, now copyright Li Sikian, name changed to Li Hong 725 and to Li Ying in 736, initially the Prince of Tsending, later the Prince of Ying, later the Crown Prince, posthumously restored to Crown Prince status 762. Li Hang, now copyright Li Sisheng, name changed to Li Jun 725, to Li Yu in 736, and to Li Shu and then Li Hang in 738, initially the Prince of Shan, later the Prince of Tsung, later the Crown Prince created 738, later Empress Wazung of Tang, Li An, now copyright Li Sai's Hen, name changed to Li Qiao 725 and to Li Yan in 736, initially the Prince of Sang, later the Prince of Di, Li Yao, now copyright Li Sishu, name changed to Li Huan 725 and to Li Yao in 736, the Prince of Yi, posthumously restored to Prince status in 762, Li Wan, now copyright Li Sixuan, name changed to Li Huang 725 and to Li Wan in 736, initially the Prince of Tsen, later the Prince of Rong, posthumously honored Crown Prince Jingong, and named Prince, Li Ju, now copyright Li Ju, name changed to Final Form 725, the Prince of Guang, posthumously restored to Prince status 762. Lia, posthumously created Prince Dao of Xia, and named Prince, and named Prince, Li Sui, now copyright Li Wei, name changed to Li Sui 736, the Prince of Yi, Li Zhao, now copyright Li Yun, name changed to Li Zhao 736, the Prince of Aing, and named Prince, Li Min, posthumously created Prince Ai of Hai, Li Lin, now copyright Li Zhe, name changed to Li Lin 736, the Prince of Yong, and named Prince, Li Mao, now copyright Li Qing, name changed to Li Mao 736, the Prince of Shot, and named Prince, Li Bin, now copyright Li Hui, name changed to Li Bin 736, the Prince of Yan, Li Qi, now copyright Li Mu, name changed to Li Qi 736, the Prince of Sheng, Li Huien, now copyright Li Er, name changed to Li Huan 736, the Prince of Ji, Li Huang, now copyright Li Mian, name changed to Li Huang 736, the Prince of Xin, Li Sai, now copyright Li Gui, name changed to Li Sai 736, the Prince of Yi, Li Gui. Now copyright Li Huien, name changed to Li Gui 736, the Prince of Chen, Li Gong. Now copyright Li Cheng, name changed to Li Gong 736, the Prince of Feng, Li Tian, now copyright Li Hui, name changed to Li Tian 736, the Prince of Heng, and named Prince, Li Xuan, now copyright Li Kong, name changed to Li Xuan 736, the Prince of Liang, Li Jing, now copyright Li Tao, name changed to Li Jing 736, posthumously created Prince I of Bian. Princess Yong, Princess Changfen, Princess Xiaokang, died early, Princess Tang Chang, Princess Ling Chang, died early, Princess Changshan, Princess Wunan, Princess Shangxian, died early, Princess Yuasi, died early, posthumously given Taoist name Dengzhen, Princess Jin, initially Princess Godu, Princess Xinchang, Princess Linjin, Princess Wei, initially Princess Jianping, Princess Xinyang, Princess Xincheng, Princess Chu, initially Princess Shao Chun, became Taoist nun 784 with the Taoist name Shangshan, Princess Pukang, died early, posthumously created 868, Princess Changle, Princess Yongning, Princess Song, initially Princess Pingchang, Princess Qi, initially Princess Xingxing, then Princess Ning, Princess Xinik, Princess Ishan, died early, Princess Guangning, Princess. Wanchung, Princess Taiyue, 
Princess Xu Guang, Princess Li Cheng, Princess Xinping, Princess Shun. Ancestry. See also, Ranks of Imperial Consorts in China. Notes and References. Old Book of Tang, Vols. 8, 9. New Book of Tang, Volume 5. Zetsai Tengian, Vols. 204, 205, 209, 210, 211, 212, 213, 214, 215, 216, 217, 218, 219, 220, 221, 222. External links Works by Emperor Xuanzong of Tang at LibriVox.